In this session, we'll begin to examine a number of basic construction and editing tools that are available in AutoCAD. In order to illustrate them, we'll construct the first portion of the drawing of a gasket shown here. We'll select the pull-down option, Format, followed by clicking on the Units option. We'll change the length precision to two digits following the decimal point, and then accept the settings shown in the window by clicking on the OK button. We'll now select the pull-down option, Tools, followed by selecting the Drafting Settings option. The window that is now displayed allows us to change the spacing of the grid as well as the snap spacing. We'll use the mouse to position the cursor in the grid spacing windows and change both these values to 1.0. Notice that we'll not change the snap spacing from their default values of 0.5. We'll now click on OK to establish these settings. In order to make use of the grid and snap options, we'll switch them on by clicking on the corresponding buttons in the status bar. Notice how the crosshairs snap to both the grid points and to locations halfway between the grid points. This is because our snap spacing is half the value of the grid spacing. We'll now select the line icon and then position the crosshairs at coordinate location x equals 2, y equals 6, and then left click with the mouse. We'll now click on the Ortho button in the status bar. This option restricts any new lines that we create to be either vertical or horizontal. We'll now move the crosshairs below the start point of our line two units and then left click the mouse. We'll now create a one unit long horizontal line. And then a vertical line that is two and one half units long. And now we'll turn off the snap option. The next line that we'll create will be a horizontal line that is approximately 7 units in length. Since we have turned the snap option off, the crosshairs can now be positioned anywhere in the graphics window. We'll locate them close to where x equals 10 and then left click the mouse. We'll now click the right mouse button to display the pop-up window shown here and then select the enter option to stop the process of creating lines. At this point, we'll make sure that only the Grid, Ortho, and Model option buttons are selected in the status bar. We'll now click on the line icon again. Before we draw the next line, we'll move the cursor into the standard toolbar area and then click the right mouse button. Now we'll select the Object Snap option from the pop-up window. Object Snap is a powerful feature that forces the crosshairs to snap to different locations on our drawing objects as shown here. We'll click on the Snap to Endpoint option. Now we'll move the crosshairs next to the top of the vertical line. The yellow square indicates that the start point of our new line will snap to the endpoint of the existing line as shown here as we left click the mouse. We'll now move the crosshairs so that they are approximately x equals 5 and then left click again. Now we'll right-click the mouse and select the Enter option to end the creation of lines. We'll now select the circle icon and then switch on the snap option. We'll now position the crosshairs at x equals 9.5, y equals 6 and then left-click with the mouse. And then position the crosshairs at x equals 11, y equals 6 and left-click again to define a point on the circle.